everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. Now in this video we will be making a zero tick cactus and a zero tick bamboo farm now going forward as just the bamboo and cactus farm because they are built basically the exact same way. The only thing that is different, bet different between the two of them is honestly the cactus at the very end of the hot bar. That's it. You just have to replace it with bamboo. Now I'm going to have a separate video on the sugar cane one because it's a slightly different than this version and I don't want people to get confused. So definitely check that video out if you guys are trying to grow a sugar cane. But this is great for fuel source. Unfortunately, cactus isn't really a fuel source, but bamboo is. That's why I'm kind of showcasing these ones together and they're built the exact same way. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and use bamboo just because I think a lot more people will be using the bamboo farm for fuel uh, versus anything else. So now, obviously I did showcase this video and this build inside of another bit video, but it was on my Mobless XP furnace array system. And not a lot of people might be using that in their survival worlds, but this system is gonna be great for a fuel source because once you find just two pieces of bamboo, you are literally set for life inside of your survival world for anything that you guys need to cook, whether it's fish or um, smelt anything down like iron or gold or whatever you guys need to do. This is such an, an amazing source for fuel inside of Minecraft and you guys will need this for your for your builds right now. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Now, you can see that everything is in the hot bar down below. Now we're just gonna use a block of choice right here. I just didn't want anything in my hands when I was talking like so. So it doesn't matter what you wanna use. You guys could use glass, you guys could use stone, you guys could use granite, it doesn't matter. Just as long as it's something that isn't sand or gravel that's gonna fall down, okay? Just kinda of throwing that out there. Uh, however, sand for the build of cactus and bamboo is essential, so you just need two pieces of it. Bamboo can also be placed on dirt as well, just so you guys know. We'll also need a couple redstone torches. We'll need a lever for our on and off system. Now it's up to you how you guys are gonna wire it and up to your systems, uh, or you don't even have to necessarily make the on and off portion of it, but I definitely recommend it so it's not super annoying. Uh, we have redstone dust, we'll just need two pieces of that. We will need just one observer. If you guys are making an on and off system, you guys will need three sticky pistons. We will need a total of five regular pistons, two pieces of dirt or two pieces of sand, and then you guys will eventually will need two pieces of bamboo. And that's all you guys need. You never even have to go to the nether to make this, make this farm. You just need to find the bamboo and that's it. That's all you gotta do, guys. That's it. Super simple. I definitely recommend that you guys build this right now for your survival world. So let's go ahead and get started with it right now. All right, so in my case, I like to build things a couple up. You guys can build it however high, depending on what kind of uh, system you guys are gonna be putting below it Ooh, to harvest and collect the bamboo or the cactus, it's up to you. I definitely don't recommend that you put it under a water stream. Uh, there is gonna be some loss both with the cactus and the bamboo farm. The cactus one will have more loss just naturally because if a uh, one of the cactus breaks off and lands on top of the cactus, then unfortunately that will destroy it. So that's, that is unfortunate. That's just kind of the luck of the draw, but I'm going to show you guys in a system that you will collect. And at the very end, we will be putting it into a chest and hopper system, which isn't in, obviously in the hot bar. So you guys can literally start this wherever you guys would like. Now at this point, we're going to use our redstone torches. The only two redstone torches are going right there and they're on opposite sides, front, back, Front, back, side to side, doesn't matter. All right, so you can break this one if you want. You don't have to. Now we're gonna use the block of choice, either sand or dirt. Just two pieces is all you're gonna need. One on one redstone torch and then one on the block itself, just like so. It doesn't matter which redstone torch you put it on the, the top of, just as long as it's on one of them. Now you guys can designate whatever side you want as front and back. The front will be the collection system so anything that's gonna be collected, the back is gonna be kind of where all the magic is happening. So I'm gonna label this as the front and then this as the back for the time being. So we're gonna put two of our building blocks behind each of those redstone torches so that both of those are covered. So straight behind, that's all we gotta do. Now on top of those two blocks that we just placed, we're gonna put redstone dust. One's gonna light and one is not because this sand right here is actually um, sending the signal to this redstone dust, if you see that. So what's gonna happen is when the system is working, it's gonna flip-flop and it's gonna be basically pushing that sand back and forth. 
All right, so let's go ahead and build what we need to actually push back and forth. So now on both sides of the redstone torch, you're going to build two blocks up or just put a sticky piston there for the time being, and then you're going to break it. One sticky piston facing in, and then one sticky piston facing in like that. So they're both facing in. Now one's going to be touching the sand depending on what side you guys put the sand on. Just one of them is one side is going to be touching, and the other side, is, the other one's just going to be on the other side of the redstone torch. If that doesn't make sense, then all you have to do is go one out and then one towards you for the sticky piston, and one out and then up and then towards you, like so. So it's going to be if these were out, it's going to be symmetric. If that makes sense. There we go. Perfect. So let's go ahead and put that back down. Now on the back side here, we're going to go ahead and create the on and off switch. Now. I'm going to create the on and off switch basically right behind the one that's already powered. So you're going to build up three blocks or whatever block you need to, or just come one off there. Don't put it right there right away because otherwise the system's going to start and it's going to basically start doing that. We don't want it to do that. Okay. We, we, we don't want that, that to happen. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to build up three like so. And that's the block that's going to be pushed back and forth to turn the system on. Now at this point, you need to build up a couple blocks, go here. Uh, you can use regular block, whatever. It doesn't matter. So that as long as it looks like this, so sticky piston facing towards, and this is going to be moving the block back and forth with e with a lever here. Now this, what's going to happen is this will be turn this on down being on this sticky piston is going to basically extend and push into this block and it's going to create a full signal right now. It's not going to, because the redstone is actually lit on the other side. Okay. Now on the side that we didn't have one lit. I mean, you guys can build this however you want. It's up to you, but you're going to put a block right behind. So when this block is pushed forward, now this, now this whole circuit is extended and it basically will flip flop the, the sticky pistons back and forth. Now below this block that you just placed in, we're going to put a piston on the top and on the bottom. So top bottom facing towards the front of the build. Again, this is the collection side. And that's why you guys need to put the blocks on the back side, like so. Now, on the, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a piston down below and a piston on the top. Top, bottom, top, bottom, right? Perfect. Now, one is going to extend because technically this one is being powered by that redstone dust right there. So that's perfectly fine. One of them will extend depending on which one you have. And it's always going to be the bottom one. Always. Because we have a gap right here with the on and off switch. So the, the one of these two bottom ones will always be firing and extending just because of how the system is set up. Now at this point, what you need to do is you need to place an observer. Now it doesn't matter, does not, and I repeat, does not matter what side you go ahead and put one on, just pick what side. And then you're gonna put a block on the top and then a piston facing towards the front of the build again. And there's the five regular pistons. We have our three sticky pistons, one, two, and three, our two pieces of, of whatever, dirt or sand, we got our two redstone torches and then we have our two pieces of redstone dust literally guys that is the build right there build done set good to go and literally that is it now we just have to basically create the collection system for said um, system so what i like to do is build a block over around like so and then basically one above it like that that's all we really need to have is just a little bit of a roof. It doesn't need to be any more than than that. I mean, if you want to, if you're building it underground, that's perfectly fine. But just it doesn't need to be anything more crazy than that. Just in case it, uh, we don't want it to get stuck on the top of the piston, which can happen. We don't want it to get stuck on top of this block, which if you if would be exposed if uh, you didn't have anything on the top, like so. If that makes sense. Again, we're gonna put, go ahead and put this roof back on. Now we're growing our bamboo. This is why you needed two pieces of bamboo because the first one is not tall enough. And then right on the top of that bamboo, you're going to place it. So that is your two pieces of bamboo that you need to go and find in a jungle biome in order to get the system to work. Now at this point, the system is actually going to operate just fine. I'm going to show you guys what I mean by it's going to create a little bit of loss if you guys don't necessarily put a collection bin down here. Now it's actually not happening yet, but if this was more than a block away, and I'm hoping that it actually, because sometimes it will get stuck right here, and it does every once in a while. But once one piece gets stuck there, a lot more will happen. And you can see that the pieces that are coming up more than a block might not be necessarily collected by 
the like a minecart or hoppers or whatever your system you're going to put it into. So I don't necessarily recommend that you guys put a water stream underneath this like I built in my uh, mobless farm. And you can see that it, we've already got one piece collected there. So now more than one piece is going to get stuck there because of that system. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Now that we basically showed exactly what I wanted to, we're going to collect all this. You can see how much we already got a stack of bamboo. Just that little bit of time. Super, super crazy. Now, again, uh, as long as you, you can't have the, the the item looking like, or the bamboo looking like this, you need it too tall. But if one's broke like that, you're still perfectly fine. It just can't be the sprout, okay? That's all it can't be. So at this point, we're going to grab ourselves some hoppers. And we're also going to grab ourselves a chest, if I can type. Like so. And then what you need to do is we're going to go ahead and put all the way down. So we're going to put one there, there, and there. And then we're going to face a hopper in inward like this and an inward like this. So basically the tails or the faces, I don't know how you want to label it. We're going to say the tails are facing inwards. Wherever the tails are facing is actually the direction that it's going to be going. So the two sides, so this one is going to be going into this one. And this one is going to be going into this one, all funneling into the center because this one will also collect some, and then it's going to go down. Now, if this is going into a chest or wherever you're going to have this, you could actually just put the chest right underneath if you guys would like, like so. Or what you could do is you could actually put the chest there and put a hopper facing into it like, like so. Why, why is it trying to jump? That's goofy. There we go. Perfect. So as long as the tail is facing into the, the chest. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start it again. And you're going to see now at this point, I mean, it took a long time for that first one to, to really get stuck. But now this will never get stuck because this lip of this hopper is actually still enough to catch anything that is sitting on the top because of this, of this block. So what's going to happen is if a bamboo happens to sit, sit just right on the edge of it, this hopper will actually still suck it up. And it will actually get all placed down here in this chest. And you can see, look at how fast this thing is generating bamboo. It is crazy fast. Now, just keep in mind that when you guys are using bamboo farms in your build, that it is typically four pieces of bamboo for one item to smelt. So one, one iron ore is going to take four pieces of bamboo. But something like this is going to make it so fast. And even some of the smaller uh, super smelters that you guys can have, in your base and it, this is extendable um, so you could put one actually facing this direction and the reason that we have it going up is because we could actually mimic this exact same build on this side and the hoppers could actually still be facing this way if that makes sense so they could literally be built right above this chest and then you could actually just sneak in and then whoop, grab your grab the stuff that's actually inside of that and you're good to go like so yes looking good now if you guys want to just place out the bamboo for cactus now the cactus does not go quite as quick but it's the same literally the exact same system so we're just gonna let that run for a little bit now the only bad thing about cactus in general is if there are anything that is broken above the cactus it will get destroyed okay it does it does it will happen from time to time the other thing that I want to point out while this is actually collecting, if there are any uh, pistons that are not firing, then you can actually go ahead and break them at this point. However, if three pistons are firing, do not, do not, uh, do not stop the system and do not break them. Because if you were to say these these three were to uh, not like, okay, if I were to do this now and start the system, you're gonna see that the cactus actually broke. Did you see that? The cactus actually broke. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that down. But if you put in um, the, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Um, we're going to go ahead and put a sticky piston facing in like that. And we're going to break those two. And then what we can do is build in our, perfect. But if you have three, like so, then the cactus will not break. Now, I don't know why this actually does this like so, even though that technically that, um, that one is not working, but at least the system at least needs three pistons to work. Now, I've seen some videos that have showcased that you don't need the bottom two or whatever ones aren't firing. I personally, just for symmetric reasons, actually leave all four, even though they actually aren't firing. It just it just looks a little bit better to me. And you can see that we had a little bit of loss over here, 
because there wasn't necessarily a hopper facing there. So we actually did lose a couple. Now, this is why I recommend that you guys don't put a water stream under here. It's just for that specific reason. And that's it. That's all that you guys really need to 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 know it's it's this thing is beautiful and it works absolutely amazing and i definitely recommend that you guys give this thing a build as quick as possible for your survival world so anyway that is the cactus and bamboo zero tech farms all in the same video and they both use sand so you don't necessarily even have to if you if you spawn into a desert and you don't even get any of the dirt you can still build this farm easy peasy lemon squeezy but hopefully this video did help you guys out and if it did then don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated but until next time youtube you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it and you guys stay gaming well let's just check look at that how much stuff we got already that's crazy crazy i tell you crazy <laughs>